Okay, well welcome back everybody and we're going to talk about power setups in this time. So what I'm using in this video for starters is my Frias quad, which I have to arm with stick movement. And let's get this in the air. So this is Frias on a ZMR250 frame and it's using old Gemfan 5030 props, which is at the time, which is pretty much all you could get. It's using tiny little 1804 motors, still at I think 2300 kV. And I wanted to show you the difference you'd need to do in your stick movements in terms of the throttle and how responsive it is. So let's go full throttle. And it makes a lot of noise, but not much happens. <laughs> and let's see what happens if we dive down and need to recover. So we dive down, we need to go heavy on the throttle to come out of that. And it's kind of the reason I think, you know, if you're starting out and you're using these big stick movements, this is not a bad place to start. Now, I'm not suggesting everybody go out and get these tiny little motors Six point zero. and start using them. But in terms of the smaller pitch props, um, even on the, the sort of more modern 2204 or even 2205s, it gives you something that's not quite so twitchy and you can still you know get a reasonably punchy speed out of it you can do big turns it's just not gonna quite respond as quickly as like it needs to get back up to speed again basically which is the difference between that and a something running 4s in a, or a higher pitch but it's not a bad place to start so let's again we're going heavy on the throttle You can still do flips and rolls. You notice I'm not really coming off the front on this type. It's not losing a great deal of height. It will lose a bit of height. You wouldn't want to do this too low down when you've got less power. But ah, I'm talking about basically you. starting um, with lower pitch or uh, lower, lower um, volts, so 3S, and then coming onto high pitch props or 4S battery later on because by the time you do that, you'll be absolutely fine flying around and you'll be able to sort of really utilize that extra power more without the quad running away with you or, or you know, getting a bit out of control. Let's see that, this, it feels like my thumb's really going for it now. But it still, it still flies all right and it's a good little quad, I've done a lot with it. And my camera angle on this is actually straight. Um, so I get a lot more grass in the shot, but of course I'm not going quite as quickly. So again, it lets me see a lot of the horizon on the ground when I want to come Four. in for a landing, as opposed to the forest, um, where I'm likely to be going a lot faster and having to point the angle up more. So it's, it's, I just find it a lot easier all around. So that's why I'm still suggesting if you're starting out, this is not a bad idea. So let's bring this in for a landing now. And you can see how, how much easier it is because I've got good view both sides basically. I can see everything. Uh, also the battery lasts for about six minutes on this because um, less pitch on the props equals less amps drawn equals better flight time. See my spotter is uh, busy spotting for me, not looking at a phone. And disarm. I think that's like that. Yep. No. Nope. That way. <laughs> I haven't done that for a while. Okay, so I've just switched over quads, and now I'm on my 4S model, which is a what's it used? 2204 Cobra motors, um, 5045 blunt nose props, arming on a switch. So let's have a look at the difference. So the obvious one is if you punch the throttle. Up it goes. Although you can see how many amps it was drawing from that very quick voltage sag we had. So on this one, you can see it's obviously faster. And the things you can do on 4S power 
are things like if we happen to go into a dive here, we don't have to think about pulling out until really late if we want to. Uh, and of course, doing flips and stuff, we, we barely lose any, any height, so we can do that much lower down. However, in terms of being more controllable, of course, extra speed, extra power, means you, you need to get a little bit more finesse on the controls, which is why I think this is your next step. And there's, there's intermediate steps. You can, you can maybe move from 3S to 4S and stay on a smaller pitch prop, like a 50-30. You can go larger pitch prop on 3S before moving up to 4S. So there's little bits on the way. I'm showing you sort of two, two quads at very different ends of the power spectrum here. I mean, this isn't as powerful as it can get. This is a, a nice mix of power and time. So this will still do sort of five minutes of moderate flying around. Obviously less if you want to really cane it all the time and go crazy. But uh, it's for that reason, I, I would say if you're, if you're new, if you haven't done this before, um, then it's a good idea to start on either lower pitch or lower power or both. And then as you get comfortable with what you're doing, you can build both of them up. Um, and at that point, you'll be quite confident about both flying quickly and being able to fly controlled in a slow manner. So there you go. Right off. I'll bring this one in. Well hello, it's me again, and I thought it might be useful just to show you the quads I was flying today, just to see the difference. Um, this is the freer setup, this is the old ZMR 250. These are the tiny little uh, 1804 motors. At the time, these were one of the first small motors that would take free S, and these little gem fans were the only thing available. You'll see the camera is absolutely dead straight. Um, you'll notice <laughs> This wiring is all over the place. It was an early build, um, but it still flies pretty well. And it's it's pretty heavy, um, but it holds up okay. Compare it to this, this is the forest setup. This is um, a Lift RC uh, 220 frame. You'll see the camera angle is back, the bigger 4S, uh, 2204s and bigger props. Now I know a lot of people don't agree with my idea of using um, a 3S instead of a 4S. They figure going along the lines of if you work at it you'll get used to it and you'll understand how to use it. And that's true. If you stick at it it'll be fine and for a lot of people that's going to work. There's, there's not one method that's going to suit everybody here. What I have seen though before is a lot of guys getting the stuff, flying it, not being happy with the way it's flying and ending up thinking it's the equipment. So they're going through various sets of ESCs and motors and replace them three or four times and still not getting it flying as they're expecting to. Um, and it's generally because they, they haven't sort of done this progression. They're just expecting it to just work as they see on, on all the videos on YouTube. And that's going to take a while to get to that sort of thing. So it's for that reason that I say, yeah, it might be useful in your case to go back to a uh, lower voltage, a 3S battery, and start flying it there. And when you're sort of saying, come on, I want more from it, that's when it's a great time to move up. And I just wanted to touch on props a second. These are the little 50, 30 gem fans, which are so flexible. And these were literally all you had when um, we first started in the world's mini quads. And they were expensive too. We're spoilt for choice nowadays, and they're cheap as beans. Um, and you can buy loads for them. So that's a 50-30, uh, a 50-40. And, and I'm mentioning this because this is a good, I just want to show the sort of progression you can have. Uh, a 50-45 and a 50-45 blunt nose, which are 
I said, a blunt nose, a bull nose. Well, those are two. If you don't know um, what a blunt nose or a bull nose means, is you take the next prop up. This is a 6045, uh, and this is the 5045 blunt nose. And basically, it's the same profile as the 6045 prop, just cut off to make it five inches again. If you compare that to the regular 5045, you can see how it's thinner than the prop, so there's a lot more air going through. And then, of course, you've got the, the tri blades 5040 uh, and 5045 blunt nose again. And to be honest, I haven't had a, a great deal of experience with these ones, and that's mainly because the tolerances to the frame of this quad is insane if you look at that. And I haven't found any tri blades that will fit happily. Um, but this this works really well for me and I get a nice sort of time out of it, so I'm happy. But I'm just encouraging all of you out there, if you're starting out, by all means, buy a 4S uh, battery, um, buy decent uh, 2204, 2205 motors that will take EVA, try it, and if it's too much, you can always buy a couple of 3S batteries and try it on those, or go down to lower pitch. Although, to be honest, on a 4S setup with powerful motors, you can still fly 50 30 props on 4S and it go like a bat out of hell. If you're worried about, oh, I have to spend extra on batteries, um, try not to. These things go through the mill. Flying mini quads on them and the way we do is not particularly kind. So you will have to replace your batteries every once in a while. They won't last forever. But anyway, that's my thing. I'm saying there isn't one solution for everybody. Try different pass setups, try different props, see what feels good to you. Um, you can always move on and change, and as you get better and get more control, get more from it. That's it for now. Catch you in the next one.